Warning, spoilers ahead. If you haven't experienced all the mind-blowing, face-palming, game-ending moments in Baldur's Gate 3 yet, proceed with caution. We're about to spill more secrets than Gale has magical mishaps, so buckle up or hit pause if you value your unspoiled adventuring life. You've been warned. Don't say Vlokith didn't tell you. Welcome back, adventurers. Baldur's Gate 3 might be a masterpiece of storytelling and choice, but it's also a brutal playground where one wrong move can send you straight to a game over screen faster than you can say nat one. Today, we're diving into the top five stupid ways to get game over in Baldur's Gate 3. From taunting godlike beings to blowing yourself up with magical orbs, these are the boneheaded blunders that will have you face palming and reloading your last save. Let's break down the most laughably catastrophic ways to doom your entire party. Brace yourselves, it's about to get ridiculous. Number five, returning to act one. All right, you fought your way through act two, face down some of the nastiest creatures Farron can throw at you. And what do you do? You try to go back to act one, thinking, hey, maybe I left something behind. But nope, the emperor does not approve of this little backtrack. And in true dramatic fashion, he dips out on you. And when the Emperor bails, it's a straight up game over. A painfully simple but effective reminder that some decisions are just meant to be permanent. There's no going back, folks. You would have done better to heed my warning. I thought you trusted me. I was wrong. And it will cost us everything. Your stomach drops, your chest constricts. Mm. Your thoughts begin to splinter. You are found. Now you hear me. Now you yield. Number four, Orphic Hammer Omission. So you've made the big call to side with Orpheus and give the Emperor the betrayal of a lifetime. But hold on. A small yet catastrophic problem, you completely forgot to bring the Orphic Hammer. And to make things worse, Raphael, your backup plan for getting the hammer, is already dead. Oof. Facing off against the Emperor without this essential relic? Instant game over. It's a brutal, yet fitting punishment for not coming prepared in what's probably the most high-stakes moment in the entire game. Seriously, double-check your inventory next time. In order to survive, I must now join the Netherbrain. Number three, Emperor's death. The Emperor. He's like that clingy ex you've been dying to ditch, but nope, Larian Studios won't let that happen so easily. This time, our game over screen is brought to you by our tentacled friend. Up until now, he's been your enigmatic dream visitor, guiding you through the chaos. Then, bam, he reveals he's actually a mind flayer. Your reaction? Sheer panic. And you decide, let's just put an end to this monstrosity. But guess what? Killing him doesn't just cut ties, it ends everything. And once again, that dreaded game over screen rears its ugly head, proving that some uneasy alliances are better left standing. At least if you want to keep playing. Your stomach drops, your chest constricts, your thoughts begin to splinter. You are found. Number two, Gale's orb activation. Ah, Gale, our resident bombshell wizard, and I mean literal bombshell. When things get desperate, he offers the brilliant plan to use his netherese orb as a magical nuke. Sounds heroic, right? Well, let's break down just how wild this gets. Scenario one, end of act two, you're deep in the Mind Flayer colony, and Gale has an idea. 
Hey, what if I blew myself up to save us all? And if you actually agree, he lights up the place in a blaze of arcane glory. The entire colony? Vaporized. Your party? Yeah. Not exactly walking away from this one. But instead of a game over, you get an explosive ending. Gale goes out with a bang and your story concludes in the most mind-blowing way possible. Boom, baby. Scenario 2. Fast forward to Act 3. You're at the final confrontation and Gale's back at it, ready to sacrifice himself to obliterate the Elder Brain. This time, he makes sure to teleport everyone to safety first. So you're thinking, sweet, no game over. We win. Except, it's still a definitive end. The world is saved, but Gale's gone, and you're left with an epic and tear-jerking finale instead of a game over screen. Talk about an emotional nuke. And scenario three. Now, let's get to the real game over moment. After meeting Elminster, Gale gains the power to manually activate the orb anytime. Whether you're battling goblins or just chilling at camp, one wrong click, and boom, instant game over. Gale takes everyone out with him, and you're staring at that loading screen, regretting your entire life's choices. So yeah, while Gale's orb sounds like the ultimate ace in the hole, it's more like a shiny red button that screams, do not touch. Unless you're ready for either a devastating ending or an unceremonious game over. Number one, Vlakith's Wrath. All right, so picture this. You're in Kresh Elek, standing before Vlakith, the self-proclaimed goddess of the Githyanki, and you, in all your wisdom, decide to question her godhood. Big mistake. She doesn't just get angry, she busts out the wish spell. That's right, she uses the spell that can literally rewrite reality to wipe you and your entire party off the map. Instant game over. It's the ultimate mess around and find out moment, a god tier reminder to keep your mouth shut when a deity's ego is on the line. Trust me, it's one dialogue choice you'll never forget. Perhaps I misheard. You would not speak ill of a god, would you? Blaspheming tongue! You wish to see godhood! I wish you to end! And that wraps up our list of the top five stupid ways to get game over in Baldur's Gate 3. But hey, we've all had our own share of facepalm-worthy moments. So, what about you? What's the dumbest or most unexpected way you got a game over? Drop your tales of woe in the comments below. I'd love to read them and share in your suffering. If you had a laugh or learned something new today, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more chaotic gaming content. Hit that bell icon so you never miss an epic fail or a new adventure. Thanks for watching, and remember, save often, think twice, and maybe don't taunt godlike beings. See you in the next one.